when an LDR, which is a light dependent dependent resistor is illuminated, its resistance decreases. And here's the symbol for an LDR, and we can see the light rays going into this symbol. So why is this? Well, as the light rays go in and they hit the material in the LDR, which is a type of semiconductor, the atoms of that material get all excited and they release more electrons, which are available for conduction. So that means it's easier for a current to flow through the LDR. OK, so describe two uses of an LDR. Here are a couple of hints. Well, the first use is we're, we can effectively measure light levels. So that's particularly useful in a camera. So a camera light meter. And in fact, uh, I think that's probably the, uh, the thing hanging around this photographer's neck. Often professional photographers have a separate light meter to check if the lighting conditions are, are enough. But also, you could have light meters in sports, in cricket, for example, to check if there's enough light. And if there's not enough light, then the resistance of the LDR will be too high and that will show on the readout. Another use of an LDR could be for use in a house to control the lighting system. And you could have an automatic lighting system. So an automatic lighting system that when the sun rises in the morning, um, it switches off the lights. And when the sun sets in the evening, it'll switch on the lights. And perhaps you have a choice of which lights you want to switch on. You might want to switch all your lights on, but that might cost you a bit of electricity in the long run. So two uses of an LDR uh, to measure levels of light.